So basically, everything was bad, and here we are. Do I want to get this deep into it? Of course not. Do I? Always, every time. Can I help myself? I wish I could. Someone help me. This has escalated. Everything here is now gone because uh, there is damage to the frame here. And see, this hole is where the uh, is where the lower arm mounts. And the way that it mounts is it goes through that hole and it has a, a nut on the other side that makes it all, you know, good. The problem was this had blown out through the other side because there's a, a bushing through there to keep the frame. So it had bellied out the other side. It didn't like that. So I hammered it back over here. And in the process of hammering back over here, there's this big belly here that I really don't like. And I don't like this. That's, that's a member in compression, right? So I'm not worried about the bottom. It is kind of wavy, but it's in tension. It's still very strong, but this top here sort of compromised. So I'm going to plate it and then it'll be stronger than all the rest of the frame, but that's okay. And then we won't need a whole stack of giant stack of shims there. And the, the other problem was is the nut that went on the end of this, it was just barely go on like the first four threads. Um, because of the way that this was had to be shimmed, there was no more room for adjustment. So, uh, this way we'll be back closer to whatever the spec was. If, you know, by eye, I could tell that this was, this was a real problem. Now I've drilled a hole on this side of the frame so I can hit this with a punch and try and bring it out. This way when I put my weld seam here, I can hopefully catch it. Um, but the important weld seam will be up here and here and here so that this can't compress or twist. It'll be strong. It'll be strong. Uh, this is too crushed for me to be comfortable with, though. And I'm never, ever going to have this apart this much ever again. So, uh, yeah, it's now or never. And uh, it could have been never, but we're doing it now. So that's that's the problem with perfectionism is you end up doing stuff that you probably shouldn't. But I needed to rebuild. I needed to rebuild this suspension anyways. I needed to take the springy thing out of there anyways. And the lower trunnion was bad and that needed rebuilt. And the, the brake line needed replaced. So a lot of this was going to have to come apart. It was like, well, whoa, I might as well just do it. And with this being so smashed, I wanted to make sure there was nothing else that was really, really bent or broken in here. The rest of this is almost not that bad. But we're gonna we're gonna work with it, you know. It, luckily, it's a small car, so it's not as big a work. If we get this done, any other suspension stuff will be able to still be repaired after the body is put on it. But this is the only real rust on this, like this this frame box. But the rest of the frame is is good. There's no. It's not like filled with rust or anything like that. Although the body was junk. But the frame, the frame will be fine. We'll weld it up, we'll paint it, put it back together. Well, by then, we'll all be old and gray. But keep watching, because we're going to do stuff. Is this going to be long enough? Let's see. It does hit. Let's see if we can get the slightest bit of dent out of here. I mean, just the tiniest bit, and it's... I'm not real happy with how that's going. Mostly, it just puts a big goofiness in there. It's not easy to bend things back. Once things are bent, I don't like this paint. It's like sticky. It's supposed to cure at some point. I don't want to mess with it too much more. We'll put some 
We'll fill it up with some weld and some steel plate. So here we are. Some people on the internet asked, Kim, is that frame going to be strong? Is it going to twist? Is it going to hold that shape? Is it structurally inadequate? And I thought, oh, wait, I don't know. And then I took it all apart and cleaned it all up real nice. And it looks horrific, really bad. And I thought, do I want to mess with that? And I thought, no, of course not. So I did, because that's what I do. I got this piece of plate steel. It's thick. It's like an eighth inch thick. And um, I cut it to fit the side of the frame. And uh, I cleaned it up real good all around. And I drilled the hole where the uh, lower control arm goes through. I'm going to weld that. And then I'm going to weld a plate on top. And then this one particular part of the frame that I'll show you, it's like really bad. It will be completely, well, it'll be boxed on two sides, which is like with eighth inch, which is thicker than the original frame material was in the first place. So if it does bend, it won't be here. Anyways, I'll show you this a little closer. Then I'm gonna weld it. Then, then I'm gonna paint it and then I'm gonna put it back together. We are gonna have to fabricate some ears, uh, but uh, Buff Del Campo's gotta give me some measurements on that first. Yeah, I'm questioning my life choices right now. Of course I am. Yes. Did I did I bow to the did I to the pressure of the internet comments? Yeah. Yeah, they made me they made me question, will this be strong? Will this be safe? I'm never going to take this part like this ever again. It better be strong enough the first time. Hopefully, hopefully I haven't messed with it so much that the frame is twisted again because then we got to re-straighten it. But I think, I think it's pretty good. Okay, this is the plate. As you can see, there's a, the frame is pretty, whoa, 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 whoa. Right in that spot. It's, I cleaned it up as best as I could. You can, it's, it's just pretty, so some plating, plating will make it all better all better stronger than it ever ever was i'm just gonna weld that gap weld all around and we'll be uh super golden crispy there i was the kids say stacking them dimes i mean I, i'm i'm not a welder but you know it was it was going together see these these ones were coming out nice these ones are coming out okay and this was, you know, sort of slobbery, and but and that was going nice. And then right there, I started getting a fizzle, 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 and I had a feeling um, we are out of welding gas. The tank is MT. So still got to wrap them corners. But uh, anyways, at least it's fabbed up. We'll get the tank filled in the morning. And then I'll grind off that garbage and put on decent welds. I feel like that's going to be strong enough once it's once it's closed up. You know, look at look at that corner. That's 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 nice. That's real. Well, I don't know. Maybe you don't like welding. Maybe you don't like welding. Do something about that. That's that was a this thinner, this ear is thinner than frame, so I was got to turn the heat down. I did turn the heat down a little bit right here. So, anyways, I'm not an expert. I'm just, I'm just doing it. But it's double thick now, so there ain't. It's not going nowhere. So, anyways, good times. Still got some cleaning up to do, and then I can start putting some paint on it as well. So I guess I'll do that until the welding tank gets full. So. Yep. Uh, that's it for tonight, I think.